waiting to make this video because I feel as if I need to talk about this. I feel as if someone needs to say something. We need an opposing opinion because modern warfare sucks. It sucks. And I, I'm being honest with you. This game could be so much better. The engine's great. The gameplay's great. Just the maps, the camping, the 725, and the M4. Jesus Christ. How can such little things ruin this game? And it's so weird to me that they've gone this far with it. They've even tried to defend it. There's a clip of the developers talking about the way that they designed the maps. Maybe just the, maybe not even just the maps, but the gameplay itself. That Birdman posted on his Twitter and later on made a video about that I felt as if I should expand upon. So before I go in on this game, I'm going to show you this clip. And it should be playing right about now. Black Ops 4 was pretty much you destroying another team or being destroyed by another team. Is the balanced matchmaking a priority for Modern Warfare? Yeah, for sure. I mean, one of the things we, we really want to do with this game is we want to we want to get new players in the game and we want them to kind of like, we don't want them to just get punched punched in the mouth over and over again mm -hmm. until they leave. We want a healthy ecosystem. We want a lot of players in and having fun. And that's a, that's a big focus for us. It's a big focus for us in weapon design. It's a big focus for us in level design. Um, our weapons are a bit more lethal than uh, they were in, in the Black Ops, the recent more Black Ops. And that helps a, a lower skilled player get a kill when they otherwise wouldn't have some success and then feel like now there's a desire to get better and to get another kill uh, our maps are a little bit more por porous um and you know we want those players to have a, a safe place to, to take their time to learn how to turn and move and then shoot put those pieces together and then they see someone and be like oh okay now i can do this so yeah it's a big it's a big focus for us but that uh that approach that you're discuss describing there isn't going to come at the expense of the hardcore players right um, I don't, that's not the plan, right? But mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we don't want someone who's, uh, like how to say this, lower skill to have a bad experience. We want someone who's higher skill to have a bad experience. And so... Oh boy, is there a lot to talk about in this clip. Listen to me, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And in case you guys didn't understand what they were talking about in this clip, basically what this guy said was they designed the game to cater to noobs, people who are new to the game. They designed the game to be easier. They designed the game to be much more downplayed, slow. Not very much methodical, but just so that noob players can have a safe space and be able to make decisions slowly. Call of Duty has had a history of being fast paced and most of your decisions are made quickly. You're not supposed to sit there and think. You're not supposed to break down exactly what's happening. You're supposed to make snap decisions and move towards them. Let's think about one thing. All right. First thing I'm going to go in on is the maps. I'm sorry. I'm fumbling words. I'm frustrated. I'm flustered. The maps are horrible. I mean, these maps are some of the worst maps we've ever seen. Maybe I can say they're three lanes because they are designed as if they're three lane maps. It's just in between the three lanes, there's nothing but obstacles, buildings and weird doors that just are in the way. And again, provide cover. It makes it harder to make those snap decisions because the three lanes are cluttered. It's weird to me. And I don't understand why this was even thought of. Let's, let's think about this. Hackney Yard is a pretty standard three lane map. Walls and buildings on the left and right side of the map completely clutter it. There's a random wall with a trash can on it that they made for you to mount, to camp. No, no, no Infinity Ward. This is not how Call of Duty is. It's awful. I mean, it's horrible and it doesn't make sense. It makes the game so much harder. So basically, They've designed it so that you cannot make snap decisions. As a matter of fact, you get punished for making those quick decisions. You're going to have to think, not methodically, but think, maybe I should move forward. Maybe I should sit here. It's very, very simple thoughts. 
I know a lot of people who are saying that you have to be a strategist. You have to think. You have to go. You have to do certain things a certain way. Place claymores and sit and wait for people. No, that is not how Call of Duty is played. I don't feel like changing my play style to adhere to this. Most of my big games, I'm rushing around. And that's pretty much because I got the enemy team off the rails. They can't set up because I'm not letting them. That's the only way to play this game for a rusher. You can't really do much and... It's, it's frustrating. This game is frustrating. Secondly, let's go ahead and talk about the camping. The camping in this game is immaculate. It's so easy to camp. And you're invited to. These maps invite you to sit in corners. These maps allow you to do that. There's a bunch of windows literally everywhere. Littered. And not only are these windows there, you can mount them. Easy peaks. And they're so freaking good like the way these maps are designed especially the way they designed them for what they wanted it's actually kind of genius they want people to play like this this is exactly what they wanted they're getting it and to be honest i think it's genius the maps weren't designed horribly these maps were designed well just not for a certain play style that is known in call of duty and so you camp you sit in corners, look through windows, place claymores, and just chill. I've had a good amount of games where I've ran into this issue. And not only is the camping bad, but also people are all using M4s. And people don't have recoil with M4s. So what do you expect? I'm going to get slammed. I have no chance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Before you go in on me saying I'm trash, I'm going to show you my combat record like a 1.84 i'm not trash at this game again this is mostly rushing i'm not definitely not terrible at call of duty the issue isn't me the issue is the game and i'm sorry to say this i was on the side of cod i really was but this issue is too grand to continue playing the game as consistently as i would like to i can't do it i can't do it and it's because the maps in the camping and then we have to add on the fact that there's a 725 shotgun, basically an Olympia from Black Ops 1, that has ridiculous range and damage. Everyone uses it as a backup weapon. Everyone's running overkill. I've seen this so much. This is the most, actually, no. I'm going to say this is the most second most overpowered weapon in the game so far. There is not a single setting other than a long range setting that this gun does not do damage. It is incredibly overpowered. Not only that, but if you put slug rounds on it, the range is increased by a lot. I think one of the most ridiculous things I've seen so far is that if you put a scope on this gun, it increases the range. How in the good goddamn fuck does that work? That doesn't even make sense. It's a shotgun, regardless if it's there's a scope on there. Do shotguns not work the way that I understand them? Or am I just confused here? Putting a scope on a shotgun with buckshot does not make any goddamn sense. I don't mean to curse. Probably going to bleep those out, but damn. It's frustrating, and this isn't even the only gun that's completely overpowered. The number one gun used in this game that I run into, I've ran into teams where all six people are using this weapon, the M4A1. This gun is ridiculous. No recoil, fast, fast fire rate, high damage. It kills you in about five shots. It's no, no, no Infinity Ward. I will not go through this. I will not adhere to you. I will not play like this. I will wait until there's changes, and if there are no changes, I quit. That's how I'm feeling right now. I mean, occasionally I'm going to play. I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a couple of tries here and there, but I can't do it. It's so frustrating, and I, I feel bad for saying this because I genuinely like what we have here. Gameplay's great engine's great there's so much good here 
this game was so well designed it has so much attention to detail the weapons every, there's not a single weapon in here that you can't use they're all great but what the hell key things that you wouldn't even think would screw up a game are now big factors i'm sorry i'm sorry infinity ward but unless you get these things fixed this is a failure and I hope the best for anybody that's going to continue playing this game. Really, I do. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. And hopefully, hopefully, we get some devs on this video. Probably going to tag them. Try to get them to watch it. If not, then, well, stuff happens. If you liked this video and enjoyed it, um, hit the like button. Comment your thoughts about the game. I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you don't. Just put it down there. I'd like to read it. I'd like to see what other people think about this shit. Also, follow me on Twitter for more things, more updates. And there will be more videos to be uploaded. So, just stay tuned. Subscribe if you really like this video. And that's it. See you guys next video. Peace.